It may seem like a simple enough task to just save a file in Illustrator, but there are some options that could be pretty important depending on the format that you choose. Let's go ahead and take a brief look at some of the options available when saving files in Illustrator. Now I'm going to begin with Illustrator already open and we're going to open a template so that we have a document that we can save. So I'm going to go to the file menu and choose open and I'm going to navigate to the chapter 3 folder in my exercise files folder. And I'm going to open up the lbvbusinesscard.ait file. And When I choose open it's going to create an untitled version of that document and that will give me something to save. So if I choose file save as I'm going to be presented with the opportunity to save this file. So I'm just going to give this a name of saving and in the format drop down menu this is really where all of the options are available. So if I click on the drop down menu you'll see that we can save our file as a template. Uh, you'll notice we have some SVG options and we also have PDF and EPS as well. Now the default format is the AI format and that's the native Illustrator format. So I'm going to go ahead and save as that format to start. So I'm going to go ahead and click the save button and it's going to bring up the Illustrator options dialog box. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that in the version drop down menu we can back save in Illustrator all the way back to version 3 if we prefer to. Now you'll notice that all of these formats are listed under the legacy formats category. And the reason that it does that is because it wants to let you know that if you do save in some of these previous formats, you may lose some editability and visual appearances. Because if you've used a feature in the latest version of Illustrator that's not available in any of these previous versions, Illustrator is going to have to do some magic to at least make it look as closely as it can without using that new feature. So just keep that in mind. So we'll leave ours set to the current version of Illustrator. In the fonts category the default setting here is to subset the fonts when the percentage of characters used is less than 100%. Now what this means is that if you haven't used every character in the current font it's going to subset those fonts. So basically what it's saying is it's going to subset the fonts when I haven't used a hundred percent of all the characters and that's to really save uh, file size in the document. Now something to point out here is this is not really embedding the fonts inside of Illustrator for use when you open the document. This is really embedding them for preview purposes and for printing purposes as well when you place this document inside of another application. But when you open it, it's still going to ask you for the fonts that are used in this document. Now for options, create PDF compatible file is turned on by default. And again, part of the reason for that is because it makes it compatible with other applications when you want to place this document inside of other programs like InDesign. Now you also have the ability to include linked files if you have placed images in here. You can also embed the color profiles and by default use compression is turned on that's going to try to save you some file size as well. And this is a really cool feature you could also save each individual artboard as a separate file. So as helpful as it is to have multiple artboards inside of Illustrator there may be times when you need to break that file apart into individual files. Now down here under transparency you can see this is grayed out in my document because I haven't used any transparency features. But you do have the ability if needed to preserve the paths essentially discarding the transparency or preserve the appearance and overprints. And this is your transparency flattener drop down menu where you can choose what resolution to rasterize objects to. So any warnings that are going to appear will show up down here and it's just letting you know that only fonts up here with the appropriate permission bits can be embedded. So that's fine I'll go ahead and click OK and that's going to save that document as an AI file. Now let's do that one more time go to file save as another common format that people will use is the PDF format. So when I choose the PDF format 
you're going to notice that I get a different set of options. And if you're familiar with Adobe Acrobat, a lot of these options are going to look familiar. Up here in the Adobe PDF Preset drop-down menu, you have options available to choose from that control how the resulting PDF is created, such as image resolution and things like that. So, if you wanted to choose one of the predefined settings, like if I really wanted to send this out for print, I might use the PDFX4 PDF preset. And you can also go in here to each of these categories and customize the output as well. So, depending on your needs or requirements, you may start with a preset and then customize it from there. You'll notice that the minute you make a change, if I change this to say 400, this drop down menu here is going to say the name of the preset and then modified in parentheses, just letting you know that it's not using the true preset that has been defined. If you wanted to get rid of those settings, just choose the same preset again and that modified will go away, clearing any overrides that you've defined. So if I click the Save PDF button, it's going to let me know that it's going to disable some editing features when the document is read back in, and that's to be expected. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and click OK, and now I've saved this file as a PDF. In addition to the standard formats found under the Save menu, you can also go to File Export. And this is not exactly saving, but it's actually re-rendering the artwork in a different format. When you go to the drop-down menu, you have a number of different file formats to choose from in which you can repurpose your artwork. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that for now. And so understanding the options that are available will help you to save a file appropriately for the format that you choose, hopefully alleviating some headaches in the future.